I'm Sierra 80. I go to Douglas High School. This is my piece that I took a picture of, and this is in Calini, Nevada, which is an uh, important town to me because it's where a lot of my family is from. Hi, I'm Riley Fulger. I made this piece right here. Um, it's called Arches and it's a lamp. Uh, and then I made this, well I didn't make this, but it's one of my art teacher's purses that I made into a lampshade. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Madeline Roberts. I go to Carson High School and this is my piece titled Buffalo. Um, it was inspired by a lot of the native cultures that are around our area that are local to Carson City in Northern Nevada. And My name is Lila Downs, and this is my piece. It's called Am I? And it's more or less representing um, the beauty standards that women are held to. Hi, my name is Raquel Workman. I'm from Dayton High School, and the title of my piece is River. Um, I was inspired by my boyfriend's dog who recently passed away, and so I made this piece for him as kind of a tribute to the river, which is the dog. So that is where I drew inspiration from. Um, my name is Cynthia. I'm from Carson High School. This is my drawing Morphing and I got the inspiration from a manga artist named Juji Ito.
Hi, my name is Montero Urban. I'm from Douglas High School, and this is my piece called Canelita. So this piece is mainly inspired by my Mexican culture, and Canelita also comes from being brown skin, and so like I made this piece brown because it's also seen like as like terracotta clay and like different types of like I wanted to be inspired and glaze it brown along with white detail about me. Um, I'm Maggie yeah, King from Carson High School, and this is um, this watercolor and alcohol markers. Hi, I'm Naya McGroom from Dayton High School, and this is my pieces, Porch and Grass. Uh, this is actually taken um, off the side of the highway, uh, just outside Eureka, Nevada, and this is my grandmother's porch. So it's a very aptly named. My name is Keone Scott, and I'm from Carson High School. Um, this is my niece. I drew on the wheel. I need to after my sister, uh, Autumn, and her. It is so are you to, the only to get in my neighbor culture. Kayla Meh, Tempewick, Tempewick, which means autumn. Yes. Autumn rain. Right here. Oh, right here. Yes. Yes. Hi, my name is Lisa Williams. I am from Carson High School and I have made these albums. The title of them is Red and Rosa. Um, I came up with that from the inspiration of like an eating disorder, um, specifically bulimia, like as if you were eating yourself, like from the inside, which is what the apples represent, and then what decay comes after that and how it affects on you. Hi, I'm Madeline Roberts. I go to Carson High School and this is my piece, Kraken. It was actually made as a gift for my dad because he likes octopuses. Octopi, so yeah. <laughs> okay.
my name is Sponsor of Virgin. I'm from Douglas High School, and this is one of my drawings. This drawing is called Fond Memories, and this is inspired by Missing Childhood. And so I use some of the kids that I know personally and use Legos as an example, as like a fond memory that you have as a child. Um, I'm Samantha Costa and I'm from Douglas High School and this is my piece called Sunset. It's a butter dish that I made in my ceramics 3 high school class. Hi, I'm Kylie Morgan, and I'm from Douglas. This is my Rotten Tomatoes decal bowl, inspired from the waste industry in America specifically. Yeah, that's my bowl. <laughs> it's wonderful. I'm Sharon Ross with Capital City Arts Initiative, and I'm sorry I got my back to you. Um, and I can't remember what number spring forward exhibition this is, but we've been doing student exhibitions in, exhibitions in Carson City since 2004, and so that's 20 years of exhibitions. And we've been doing student exhibitions in here since about 2015 and we absolutely love having student exhibitions. It's, we think it's fun to get your work off campus and downtown, so it can be open to a lot of people. Um, so we have a very generous donor who has in, underwritten our $500 scholarship, and so we would, I'm gonna walk. Go ahead, you walk, girl. <laughs> Go ahead, I got you. You know who's, who's got control and the power. <laughs> you can go ahead, I got you. Okay. Ava Wilson, you received a scholarship. <laughs> so we had a, a, a colleague of ours come jury the exhibition, and he, he, he had so many choices. So it took him 24 hours of sleeping on it, um, balancing the pieces, and finally called me the next day and said, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So the scholarship, I'm not giving you the check for 500 <laughs> for sense. summer fun. It's not for that. It's for, so when I'll need your, when you enroll in school, I'll need your student number and then I'll send the check to the school. Perfect. Okay? Sounds great. Okay. So, congratulations. Thank you. Mary, the city supervisor's here earlier and he was loving having this exhibition and having all of you students, as I said, come downtown rather than just being on campus. So, CCAI has four galleries in Carson City. So, we have, this show is up at Western Nevada College and it's coming down Friday, Saturday morning. So if you have not, and there are flyers out there. If you wanna get and see Ruby's exhibition, um, it's a pretty amazing show. We received a grant from the National Endowment for the Arts for, to produce this exhibition, which for grant makers is a big deal. Um, but her show is up at the college. And we also have shows, um, it was our first gallery at the courthouse, Carson City Courthouse, over on Loop and Musser Street. If you haven't been to the courthouse for traffic fine or <laughs> just to go in and get a marriage license or whatever, uh, we're on the second floor and the exhibition is on the map, it's ceramics. If you're a ceramic artist, you should go see this show. Um, and if you make drawings, you should go see John Farber's drawings. It's wonderful, this is up to the end of May.
and CCAI has memberships and these membership cards are out there and moms, dads, grandparents, if you would like to help support CCAI in all that we do to support our students, we would be most grateful for your donation as well. Did we forget anything? Oh, thank you, what I'm standing right in front of. So over the years, CCAI has been given a lot of art books and we've decided the best thing to do with them is give them to you. So there are art books here, so please feel free to take teachers, Please help yourselves. Um, Parents, students, students. Everybody, <laughs> everybody leave here with a book. <laughs> Please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all very, very much. My name is Ava Wilson, and I'm in 12th grade, and I go to Douglas High School. My piece right here is called Silenced, and I actually made these by searching through newspaper articles um, on the New York Times. And then from there, I copied and pasted it into a template and made it into a decal that then we squeegeed onto the actual piece. I also display these usually stacked and they stack perfectly like this. Oh, that's cool. 